Hello friends. So here we go with the projection of solids uh, on a cube. So it's problem number 43. So what it says, uh, a cube of 40 mm side rests on HP on one of its edges which is inclined to VP at 30 degree nature. The resting edge itself is inclined at a 30 degree to the uh, VP. Okay, so draw the projection when the lateral square face containing the edge on which it rests uh, makes an angle of uh, 50 degree to the HP. Okay, so here we have a cube okay, of size 40 mm. Okay, it is resting on one of its uh, edge or a side. Okay, so here a uh, lateral surface containing this edge makes an angle of uh, 50 degree to the HP okay that is what uh, it is resting on the HP so inclined to the HP so next will be inclined to the VP what is inclined the resting edge the same resting edge is inclined to the VP at 30 degree okay so now to start with that <coughs> so we'll take a projection so this is x y line so we'll say vp hp so it's a cube a cube is something like which will be having a, a six square faces okay and when we view from the top so it looks like a square itself okay so it's a 40 mm okay Okay, so this is exact. To locate the center, we we'll just drop a thin diagonals. Okay, so we'll write a, a okay to the top square and one to the bottom square. Okay, so B and two, C and three, D and four. Okay, so this will be O in the bracket O one. Okay, it is something like so. We are having a square. Say so. This if this is a square, so this top square will write A, B, C, D. Similarly, we'll be having one more bot uh, square at the bottom. So we'll write one, two, three, four, which are overlapping. So above is a A, B, C, D. Above is a A, B, C, D, and below will be one, two, three, four. Okay. So once this one is done, just uh, do the dimension. So to indicate this square, we'll write a small square and write a 40. Okay, so once this one is done, we'll just project this one upward. Okay, so from each end again, it looks like a square of 40. Okay, so 40. This is a center line. Just join this. Okay, so now write the side here it's a forty. Okay. To name as I said the bottom square is corresponding to the 1, 2, 3, 4. While naming this one, you just look to the 1, 2, 3, 4. So, 1 is here, 4 is here. So, 1 dash and 4 dash. So, 2 dash is beyond that one. So, in the bracket and 3 dash is beyond that one. Okay. So, now at the bottom, it's a O, 1 dash. Okay. So, now when you look to the top side, so we need to look A, B, C, D. So, A and D. So, we'll write A and D. So, B is here. B dash and C is here so this is C dash and O is outside the bracket we'll write a O dash okay so this is how exactly we talk about for the cube okay so two squares above A B C D the below is a 1 2 3 4 so while naming the bottom one you look to the 1 2 3 4 
while naming to the top one you look for the a b c d okay so now this is the resting gate that is a one two okay so the lateral square face is this one a b okay so this is a, again a, we have a square here it looks like a line okay we need to take a a 50 degree line so take any one point here okay take a 50 degree so you need to construct again this square here okay so already we know so this is a 40 mm you can just take directly on this 50 degree line 40 okay so this angle is a 50 degree okay so this line is a 1 dash in the bracket 2 dash and this line is a, a dash in the bracket b dash okay so now just take a reference from each point just cut because it is equal in all the respect okay just two and from here you just take one diagonal from here you cut it on this from here you cut it on this okay now join okay so now take a midpoint of this one so this is the center line okay so we'll write a so this is 4 dash 3 dash and this is d dash c dash okay so this is o dash and this is a o1 dash okay so this is how exactly we'll get all right so this is a lateral square face and to drop the projection so right extreme and bottom most Okay, so take all these so whichever say either the number of projections whichever is small you just take that one first okay here there are only three you just take that one so the here it will be uh, easy okay so here you can say this is our b and this is our a okay so this is a o So here we have O and here we have 1 and 2 okay so this is 2 and this is a 1 and this is C and D okay so this is C and this is a D this is O1 and this is a four and three okay so this is how exactly we get the projection so when you see from here from the top okay so we can see the one that is a a b c d okay see uh, when you see from here okay so i can see the is a b c d okay the top one so you can make that one dark here so initially whenever you see from the top the face any face okay if it is a square if it's a square or if it's a pentagon pentagon or if it's a hexagon hexagon any face which is near here will be visible like this okay then we'll mark for the boundary okay so d to 4 will be the boundary 3 to 4 and c okay so this will be the boundary and always the resting edge is invisible so we'll make this one dotted like this okay so last one it's an axis line we'll have an axis line like this okay so only some uh, say like a three rules okay so one the face nearby will be visible that is a b c d next trace the boundary okay so next will be the axis line okay so next the same resting edge 1 to 2 is inclined at a 30 degree to the vp so take any one point here okay so take a 30 degree line 
okay just drop a line say this is 30 okay it should be written like that only then so already we know it is this is a 40 mm so this one to two so take a little bit down so that it should not uh, intersect with the so this is a dotted line x y line okay, so 40 so we are taking and placing like this so then this will be our one and this will be our two okay so now just measure so from two okay so from two how much is three okay so it is coming around 31 okay and a b it is coming around 25 so 31 and 25 so you just keep a scale okay at the 2 at a point 2 okay now this side it's a 25 okay and this side it's 31 so 1 2 3 and a 1 okay so similarly you can do the same thing here keeping at 1 okay so 25 this side okay and 31 this side so 1 2 3 and a 1 okay they join these ends 1 here 1 here okay so we got the boundary so we need one that is uh, 2 to c so it is around 7 so 2 to c it's a 7 mm so take a 7 mm here and take a 7 mm here just drop a dark line okay so this is exactly what we get so we are tilted like this so 1 2 this is 3 4 okay so we'll take it from here this is a this is b okay this is c and this is a t okay so now we need a midpoint of this one so it's a 40 means it's a 20 okay from the c so from the c it is a o1 from the c it is a o1 okay so i'm again say from the c it is a o from the c it is a o okay so now just drop a, a line midline here okay so so this is our axis line so this is o1 and this is a o okay so now to complete the projection so take the topmost projection line here and the rightmost rightmost is a a you just drop a a okay so we'll complete the horizontal ones because we have few here so one from here from here from here okay then here right so yeah this line will be down So like this then we'll go one by one a is done so b is so a here we have a dash so we'll go with the b so b is on the same line so here we have a b dash okay so here we have a c c is at the top so go to the c directly so c dash so d is here again it is on the top line so just take a so d dash okay so we got a a b c d so now we'll go with a one one is on the x y line so one dash two dash so here we have three dash 
and on the same line so we have a four dash okay so we have a over here four dash and a over one okay so one dash so now let me see from here right again you look to the uh, the face that is one two three four is at the down see three four is at the down so connecting to that one is a one two three four so now one two three four you just join that one with a dark line okay so now to trace we will go with the 3 to C boundary and C to D okay so now from D to A it will go okay now again A to 1 so this is the boundary okay so now this line that is D24 is here only okay so that is visible D24 is visible okay so D24 is visible now the things which are connecting B to 2 and C to B are invisible because here we have a A to B that is invisible so you can just drop A to B so dot it okay so when we are standing here so a b is here so you can't see that one next is c b that is b c is this side so that is also is invisible okay so like b2 2, 2 is invisible okay so this is how exactly it is visible then last one is a o2 o1 it's an axis line okay so this is how it is visible okay so the projection to the 4 is 4 is a little bit tilted or else it will come properly here okay so as uh, again to see okay so 1 2 3 4 so 1 2 3 4 so 1 2 3 4 is a dark then from each point you trace the bound 3 to C C to D D to A and A to 1 okay once this one is done so you just see from the corner here so it is visible okay here it is visible and whichever the corners which are there okay say like A to B A to B is invisible because we are standing here A to B will be beyond that one so it's a dotted so always a dotted line will connect to the dotted line itself unless otherwise it's a boundary say for example this is a dotted line so these two are a boundary so if the because these two are a boundary so it is a dark line if not so this is a dotted line connecting two will be like a dotted line okay that is something like a uh, mercedes symbol okay so if you have like this okay connecting all the three three lines will be dark or connecting all the three lines will be dotted unless otherwise it's a boundary okay say for example if you take it here one two three all the three are dark one two three all the three are dotted so if you take it here one two three two are dark one is dotted because these two are boundaries okay so this is how you can solve the problem on a cubes okay thank you